morning. Oh. Early for a haircut? Oh, Chuck, I was just reading about you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they see they even spell my name right. Chuck. Hey, how about that haircut? Uh, do you think you can fit me in? Oh, I sure, we're not that busy yet. Yes, Good. you do need it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Thank uh, you so much. I oh, feel okay. ever so much better. There you are. Chalk. Oh, Grandmother, you're up and out early. What are you doing here? Well, never mind about me. What are you doing here? I came in here to get a haircut. What about you? Oh, I had a terrible muscle spasm oh. in my shoulder last night. Kept me awake all night. Anyway, they were nice enough to come in early and, uh, and... Give me a little massage. Well, Feeling good. better? Phoebe? Oh, yes, yes, dear. Very much. Good. Better. Thank you. Excuse me, Chuck. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Why couldn't you have gone to the barber shop? This is closer. Oh, for heaven's sakes. If, if, if people learn that you have come rushing over here. What you, you know what you're probably going to think? That I need a haircut. Don't be impertinent with me. Now, this is still a very small town. Very small town, and people talk. And if uh, word gets out that you rushed over to the Glamorama... Grandmother, Donna is my friend, and I hope she will always be my friend. Your friend? Yes. You were married to her, for heaven's oh. sakes. And disastrously, as I recall. Grandmother... Oh, look, not that she hasn't overcome a lot, but... I think you are from different worlds. You always have been, you <clears throat> always will be. A lot of credit to be given to her, but... But you still look down on her, don't no, you? No, I do not. I respect Donna very much. However, I cannot forget who she was and what she was, or the terrible kind of people that she associated with. Why, like that dreadful Billy Clyde Tuggle and, and that Estelle Latour. I thought you were fond of Estelle. You took her in when she was pregnant and married to Benny. That was for Benjamin's sake. Oh, what's the use? Grandmother, I want to remind you that we had an understanding. When I agreed to stay here in Pine Valley, you promised me that you would stay out of my private life. You're right. You're absolutely right. I did. So I won't say another word. <laughs> and what's the use, anyway? You'll do exactly as you please. Oh, you can tell Donna to put the massage on my bill. Yes, I will. Bye. Sorry I took so long. No, that's all right. My grandmother kept me company. So I heard. What's she on your case about this time? Oh, nothing that I can't handle. Good. Nice to know some things never change. Come on. It's nice to know you still kept your sense of humor. Yeah, if I didn't have that, I'd be in Oak Haven. <laughs> so. We all? How much are we taking off? Oh, I'll leave that up to you. All right. Let's see. Mom! Mom, guess what? It's too early for gifts. I got a letter from Daddy. That's nice, sweetie. Mm -hmm. That's it. You see? Yeah, that's fine. Boy, that looks good. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Emmy, honey, there's a little more over here. Oh, here, I'll get out of your way. How's your dad doing? He's just fine. Well, the next time you talk to him, will you give him my regards? It must be nice working with your mom. It's okay. Do you like singing better? Yeah. Well, you're certainly good at it. I mean, you were terrific the other night at Kelly's. Thanks. Uh, th the next time you uh, do a performance, will, will you let me know? Look, I don't think it's going to be any time soon. Excuse me. Yeah. You know, your daughter takes after you. She is beautiful and she's talented. Thank you, Chuck. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that should cover. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you soon. Time. Okay, bye-bye, Chuck. Okay, thanks. Young miss, would it kill you to be a little more pleasant to the customers? What? It was pleasant. Oh, please. The man gave you a very nice compliment, and you hardly didn't even acknowledge it. Look, he's your friend, not mine. Well, wait a minute. What was that supposed to mean? I'm as nice as I can be to your friends. Now, I'd hope you'd be nice to mine. Dr. Tyler is just a little more than just a friend to you, Mother. He's your ex-husband. So? So? 
There could still be something there. Oh, Emily Ann. Look, you know how bad I want you and Daddy to get back together again. Don't expect me to be Miss Sparkly Bubbly to your old boyfriends. Honey, you know how much I love you, don't you? But you're living in a dream world. Me and your dad are divorced, I know. But Mom, he still loves you so much. You know he does. And when he comes back, everything no. is gonna be... Things are never going to be the same as they were. I know you don't want to hear that, but you've got to face reality. But they could be if you would just let them. I loved your dad. I loved him with my whole heart. And I tried so hard to be a good wife to him, and he tried to be a good husband to me. For a while, sweetie, we were good together. I know. So why can't you just give him another chance? He's a wonderful man. He's... He's warm and he's loving, but, sweetheart, he has got big problems. They're, they're problems I can't help him with, and believe me, I tried. You've given up on him, haven't you? I really hope he gets his life together. Please believe me, I do, but whether he does or if he doesn't, I cannot let it affect me. Oh, oh, in other words, you don't care what happened Shh. to him as long as it doesn't affect you. I know this is going to be so hard for you to understand. But, baby, when a man keeps letting you down over and over again, something happens to you. You, you start building up walls so you don't get hurt anymore until, before you know it, you're just numb inside. If you don't love him anymore, why don't you just come out and say it to me? A part of me is always going to love your daddy. All right, okay, you are right. I can never love him as much as I did once. That part of my life is over. I force myself to accept it. I just wish you could. Oh, uh, I didn't mean oh. to interrupt. I just wanted to pop my head and say hello. Chuck, I'm glad you did. How are... Welcome back. Thank you very much. Do you know Travis Montgomery? N no, no. Uh, Chuck Tyler. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's mine. I understand they've got you back on staff here. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, feels a little strange, but it's good. <laughs> well, it's good for us. So I understand you'd been in Kentucky? Uh, five years, but I think I was ready to come home. But your family's glad to have you back. Yeah, well, my grandmother seems to be, uh, but you never know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, look, I've gotta get to my session. I'll talk to you later. All right, good luck. Nice meeting you. Good luck Thank here. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Chuck, thank you. <laughs> I tell you, when I read this morning in the paper that you were here, I had to come by. I had to say welcome home. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I understand you have a little girl. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do, Bianca. Yes, yes, Bianca. She's beautiful, Chuck. She's just the light of my life. Well, she probably looks like you. I can thank see you. why. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Well, uh, they sure don't give you very long <laughs> no, to settle in, don't. do they? I would love to see Bianca. Why don't you bring her here so I can see her in the What hospital. a great idea. I will. Okay, Bye. thank you. Bye. Okay, Mrs. Murray, I've set the timer for 30 minutes, okay? Thank you for doing the brushes. Oh, you're welcome. Mom, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I just wanted to apologize to you before. It's okay. No, it's not. I was being a jerk, and I'm sorry. See, while I was in the back, I got to thinking about a talk that I had with Sharla. Sharla? Did you know that her mother left her and her father? Oh, no. Well, she never talks about her family with me, so... It just must be so weird to know that you have a, a mother someplace, but not know anything about her, you know? So anyway, that's what got me started thinking. 
about how lucky I am to have you. I mean, I know you didn't give birth to me, but you're there for me every time I need you. And I also wanted to say, yeah, Mom, I know, I know that Daddy gave you a hard time. It's just that I wanted the three of us to be a family again, you know? I know. I wanted that too, baby, for the longest time. But I thought about it, and it's exactly like you said. I have got to grow up, Mom, and I got to face reality. I love you. And I love Daddy, too. And I am so thankful that I have both of you in my life still. Oh, baby, we're thankful we have you. You know, I, I wonder what, um, what Charlotte's mother's like, you know? Where she is and then what, what she's doing. Well, maybe she'll come back someday, huh? Would you mind leaving, please? 